Hi everybody, it's Owen from farfaway.org. I don't normally talk about Circular Boris, um, but I started a proxy for us a while ago and it was mostly uh, an excuse to paint up these guys. So these are some confrontation woven that I had left over. Basically picked up confrontation, never ended up painting the models, and, and they really are beautiful sculpts, so they deserved something done with them. So decided to turn these two guys into stalkers and this guy fairly obviously into a pure blood so once I had those started uh, I needed other models to fit out the force so I had a look around to try to figure out what warlock I'd like to do and I decided I'd go to an epic Kaya list so this is uh, the model that I went with so she's Alfiana from Studio McVeigh really is quite a beautiful sculpt uh, that left me needing a Laris. So this is a Games Workshop Warg. So here the body is. The head is just one of their plastic direwolf heads. Uh, a bit of green stuff to kind of hide the join. And mounted up there and he looks pretty vicious. So from there I grew the force a little bit. Um, added some uh, shifting stones. And these are well, obviously just real stones that I added a bit of uh, ohm writing to the edges of so this unit has the word uh, gore written down the side and this unit has the word blood so growing the force from there I, I wanted a couple of uh, war wolves so these are a couple of dire wolves, I can't remember the company that produces them and they're, they're really quite nice and, and they fit in with the Laris model quite well obviously he's the, the alpha um, these are, are part of it um, Next up then was the Stonekeeper, so this is a guy from the Wood Elf range, uh, again from GW. And kind of painted his armour to look slightly stone-like to fit in with that unit. And that left me just uh, to fit out the 35 points with one model I was missing. And just finished up painting this guy. And he's representing a Druid Wilder. So a slight conversion, the top of his staff originally had um, a lizard on it. So this is a skull from the Plastic Dryads, uh, GW's Dryads uh, box set. The model itself is from a company called uh, Umbraturus, uh, which is a Polish um, model and miniatures company. Uh, really nice sculpt, really, really nice. And this guy's magically called uh, Shaman with Staff and Skull. But he seems to fit the part quite well. I was all told I was going for a kind of a Celtic theme within this force. So this is a now full 35 point army. Uh, I think it should be a little bit of fun to play. It's very different than anything else I have. It's exceptionally mobile because this is a, a tier 1 force. So the heavy war beasts are starting advanced deploy as are the, the shifting stones which they normally do. So only 5 models are starting in regular deployment. Uh, and then you know with Kai's uh, abilities and, and her feet this could be an exceptionally hard hitting and fast hitting army. So I'm looking forward to getting onto the table. Uh, a couple of small things to finish. I want to do a little bit more work on the, on the bases. They're they're okay, but they could do a little bit more just contrast, I think. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the force as it's turned out. So thanks for watching.